Where is your EIDL grant? I called the SBA yesterday to find out what the hell is going on there. But first, my name is Ryan. Today is May 26th, 2020. Thanks for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with the SBA stuff and the EIDL and PPP. Also, please let me know if you have any requests or questions in the comments below. I will do my best to try to answer all your questions. Again, I'm taking some time off right now, so my access to computers and stuff will be limited uh, by choice, not by force. So yeah, leave some questions for me, leave some comments, let me know what you guys think, and I'll do my best to get to them. Thank you. So what's going on with the EIDL grants? I know for a fact that as of late April or early May, over 3 million people have gotten their grants totaling almost $10 billion. But from what I've learned after starting to post these videos is that many, many people have not received their grants. So what's going on here? I called the SBA yesterday and I talked to some agents and they said that they are no longer issuing grants before the loan comes. Before what they were doing is they were issuing grants after maybe like three or four weeks of application um, without even notification. There would just be money showing up in your in your bank account, which is which is one of the best ways to receive money, in my opinion, is to just randomly get money. Before you were getting some money just deposited into your checking account, and then you were waiting another two to four weeks before you hear anything back from the SBA regarding your loan portion. But now what they're doing is they're just combining the grant and the loans all together. So you're not getting your grants before your loan if you haven't received it yet it will be considered in your loan offer. So for example, let's say when you first applied, you put down that you had five employees, so you're expecting a $5,000 grant. Well, if you haven't gotten that yet, and you're expecting a loan offer soon, let's say your loan offer is $30,000, okay? If you accept $30,000 in your promissory notes with the SBA, you're going to be required to pay back $25,000 because of that $5,000 grant. So that's how they are combining the grant and the loan together right now. This new change is also very frustrating to me because, you know, on the SBA website, it says there's a section where you apply for the EIDL. It advertises it as an advance, as a grant that you get as, you know, as, you get as soon as possible. And by the way, this grant was supposed to be received within three days. This, this was the original intent of the SBA is to get this grant within three days of application. That definitely is not happening, you know. At best, you're seeing three to four weeks. And now they're changing it again to where you get it with your loan. I understand that they're, they're very overloaded and they're probably scrambling to try to get all these loans processed. But come on, man, it's, it's kind of unfair. They're changing the rules in the middle of the season, basically, where some people got treatment this way, some people got treatment the other way. And, you know, the maximum loan amount was $2 million, and now it's $150,000. Now you don't get your grant until your loan offer, but before you're getting your grants way before your loan offer. So, I, I mean, it's, it's just irritating to me, all these changes that are happening within the same program, you know, and then there's also the proposed changes for the PPP, which is, which is beneficial for the applicants, but it's just very frustrating for everybody trying to figure out what the rules are and how to apply for forgiveness and stuff. I hope that there's not going to be too much more changes with the SBA. I mean, it seems like, you know, with the PPP, at least the applications are slowing down and, you know, maybe the banks can catch their breath. With this SBA, with this EIDL loan, they seem to still be very far behind because as I mentioned, they issued over 3 million grants so far. That means there's over 3 million applicants, right? And as of, as of May 23rd, they've only satisfied about 400,000 loans. Let's see here, let me pull up the number. As of May 23rd, they've only satisfied about 430,000 loans, totaling almost $38 billion. Now we know that this program has $100 billion allocated to it and three million over 3 million applicants, they've only satisfied 430,000 of them. They have a long ways to go, okay? So don't hold your breath, 
just be patient. Um, your loan and your grants are coming if you haven't received it. I think this program is gonna need more funding. This is my opinion. Your, your loan and your grants are coming. If you have any questions, definitely call the SBA. I'll leave their number below. Ask for a level two agent to check on the status of your loan. You gotta have your application number ready. So that's all I got for today. Thanks for joining in. Be sure to like this video if you've enjoyed the content and subscribe to my channel if you wanna stay updated with PPP and EIDL stuff. Leave me any questions in the comments below. Take care for now. I'll see you next time and stay safe.